I'm Julia, I'm here with Kians. Uh, we've got our digital microscopes here. Basically, this is the VHX 1000. It's going to be an all-in-one unit. Um, as compared to your traditional optical system, there are going to be no eyepieces involved. There's going to be a camera here, hooks up directly to your lens. Basically, it's going to communicate an image over here to like the brains of the system. What makes this scope really unique is its depth of field. It's got a depth of field about 20 times greater than that of your traditional optical system. So you're just getting a lot more in focus in a single image. To take advantage of that, we've got a stage here that'll rotate a full 360 degrees, and the arm will tilt down to a full 90 degrees. So for a lot of people that are fussing with putties or fixtures or anything like that, ideally you can avoid that nightmare with just by using our stand and stage here. But if you are working at higher magnification, one of the first things to go is usually your depth of field. So you'll notice here I just went from about 20 times magnification to 200. So now I'm able to get the top of those pits in focus, unfortunately not the bottom. Or I can get the opposite image. Now your traditional optical system will be able to give you either of those two images. But what the VHX 1000 has is a function to overcome that depth of field limitation, those higher magnifications. So there's actually a motor here that's currently moving the lens upwards. And the system is going to be scanning those pixels, latching onto them with their optimal focus to create a fully focused image, even at those higher magnifications. Once you have the image you want, you pause function. You could save this image, measure on it, comment on it, and it saves with any of those measurements or comments. We can also take it a step further. And basically the system has also stored some height data as it's scanned through the sample. And it can use that height data to create a quick 3D model of your sample. Which we can then throw a scale on, a height color map, and we can also measure directly on the sample. So here I'm just doing a quick profile measurement across the top. You can see the graph on the bottom is basically displaying what that profile is to see. Then you can manipulate on the side that A and B to get that height data of that pit.